Hey train fans, I'm Rocky Canyon Arrow and this is my Rockwell Canyon Railroad. So I have to confess a bit of irony in my title picture where it says great weather for June of 2023. Uh, although it was warm on the 1st and 2nd of June, in which I had these uh, trains out running, uh, the rest of June so far has been rather chilly. We actually had the fireplace going over the weekend. Nevertheless, on the morning of June 2nd, I came out with my Boston to Maine GP38 and my Rockwell Canyon 44 tonner and ran some trains for quite a while. Now it was particularly nice to have the trains out this day because it's been a while since I've run trains uh, due to uh, various yard work projects that I've had and a few major repair work jobs on the railroad. Uh, if you remember my last episode, I talked about the St. Patrick's area, uh, which received a major uh, leveling job. And then also uh, where the train's coming across right now into Bloomington, I had to reinforce uh, the elevated section that had been kind of drooping down towards Pont Rocheau. I was able to take a couple of four-foot T-posts, which are normally used for garden fencing, and then drive them into the ground to add a bit of a, an anchor for that section of raised track work. Uh, because it's on an, an elevated uh, pitch, um, there is just a gravitational pull uh, on that section of track. So uh, over the frost and and thawing cycles it's kind of pulled away from the Bloomington rock wall area so this is kind of ensuring that it stays in place a little bit more and it allows me to adjust it too um, the t-posts have drilled holes so I can merely just you know unscrew them and reposition them if ever needed but it seems like this is going to be a pretty good solution and that here it goes right now across that viaduct right now that's been recently reinforced and you can't even see the t-posts they're just kind of blending in because of their nice dark green color. So now with all the track work buttoned up, you can see uh, the confidence uh, in having two trains running. Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, any derailments here and there. Uh, things are running very smoothly this day. Um, they're short little freight trains, but um, you know, there's something interesting about having a lot of traffic. Um, the longer trains are fun, but they need to be a little more closely monitored. Uh, little freight trains like this uh, will run around for hours and, you know, they don't need uh, much assistance whatsoever. Even on this layout, the, the, the track is long enough that even if they're going at slightly different speeds, uh, it'll be a long time before they actually catch up to each other. So you could even have uh, you know, a couple more trains running and, and have the same kind of effect. So here we are down in St. Patrick's and you can see all the work that's been done here to level. Uh, there wasn't any uh, large field stones on either end of this uh, curve uh, prior to the leveling project. So basically where the switches are uh, was the high point. So I've had to add material all the way across where the train is now, going across the bridge. The bridge came up, I think, probably eight inches. And that whole section of elevated track is quite a bit higher. So just a great feeling to have that all put back together again and, and looking nice and fresh again. Uh, a little bit more work to do on the elevated section moving towards uh, Donf Boot, but uh, we're getting there. It's much better than it was before. And speaking of Donf Boot, we have our Boston Main freight train heading away from Donf Boot into Pont Rocheau, and now our short little 44 tonner train making its way across the viaduct heading towards Donf Boot. I've uh, just recently completed a new train station for Donf Boot. Uh, we're going to be adding a bit of facade to this section to make it look a little more uh, finished. And that'll be nice to have that put together and have a little town there. And you can see here in St. Patrick's there's still a bit of construction debris from the uh, re-leveling project here. A lot of that uh, wood material will probably be brought over to Donf Boot uh, when the time comes. Hopefully uh, I can get out there before the, the mosquitoes get too bad. Uh, being at that location, it's a little tricky to work there sometimes. And the next uh, project after that, of course, is over at Blimpton again. Uh, I'm going to take that whole rock wall down over at Blimpton, and we're going to straighten out the entire length of that and add a little more material between the wall and the track. Because what I found is that there tends to be a lot of uh, erosion. You can kind of see here as the train comes by, the track is really close to the rock wall. So we're going to get rid of that little kink uh, that the train's going into right now. I'm going to straighten that out and, uh, you know, make the pathway a little further over, too. So that's going to be kind of, a, kind of a major project. But now that I have the, the tractor helping me out, I should be able to get that done 
much quicker than I would have before. All right, let's take a break from the chat here and uh, play some music and watch the trains do their thing. And we see some more evidence of uh, work being done around the yard. I've added these boulders and some uh, some w fresh wood chips to put around this new garden that we added. Um, added a new tree this past winter. It's a tiger tail pine. And uh, also a great crop of blueberries this year. Really excited about that. Yeah, so we have several varieties of blueberry. Um, those are the Patriot blueberries, which uh, ripen first. And then I think the uh, blue rays and then the Jersey uh, high bush blueberries come a little later on, but I have oh, over 10 bushes now and they're all doing quite well. So very excited about that. So as we come along here on the Rockwell Canyon viaduct, uh, you can see that the, the grass underneath is starting to, to fill in a little bit now. Um, it's going to be that time of year when I need to get up there and start doing some, some mowing and, uh, tidying things up a little bit. But as we mentioned earlier, here we are coming into uh, Blimpton, where we're going to be doing some major work. Um, the track kind of hugged the side of the hill, uh, as you can see here, and uh, to kind of save me a little effort. Uh, but now we're going to be taking that apart, of course, and rebuilding. So, much like we did here at St. Patrick's. And uh, you can really see the difference now. Uh, boy, this track uh, was going downhill at a pretty good rate around this curve uh, before I added all this material and those big rocks and uh so i'm excited to see how that works out with uh you know some longer freight trains this summer hopefully it's a big improvement and it'll all be worth the effort all right so that's about it for now uh, i have a few changes i'm going to be making to the podcast uh coming up soon i'm gonna try to add a little more structure to these uh recordings I have a few different segments um i think we'll probably talk about various uh uh, G-scale equipment and sections and then have some discussion talk and hopefully uh, have a chance for you guys to you know chime in on on this and that and uh, be able to answer questions or pass on information that you have that you think is uh, worth sharing with everyone so anyways thank you so much for joining us uh, again at the Rockwell Canyon podcast and as always I invite you to click that like button and also subscribe thanks so much I'm Rocky Canyon Arrow, and that's how we do trains around here.